Hello guys, today we are going to know about aluminum hydroxide. This is the second compound of uh, sodium bicarbonate and antacids. So let us know about what is aluminum hydroxide and uh, their preparation, properties, uses, etc. So first of all, aluminum hydroxide. This is the second compound which is followed by sodium bicarbonate. Let us know what is the molecular formula of this. Aluminium hydroxide molecular formula is AlOH3. Let us write some of the synonyms of aluminium hydroxide. Synonyms are means uh, similar to the name which are also called as aluminium hydroxide is also called as aluminium hydroxide suspension or it can be also called as aluminium hydroxide mixture Now let us know how aluminium hydroxide is prepared. Preparation It is prepared aluminium hydroxide is prepared from aluminium sulfate or potassium alum. It is prepared from aluminium sulfate or potassium alum. Now let us see the reaction process of this. First we have to take 3 moles of Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate plus 2 KAL SO4 taken twice that is this is known as potassium alum potash alum plus 3 moles of water that gives rise to 2 Al OH taken twice plus 3 Na2 SO4 plus K2 SO4 plus 3 CO2 let us recall it that is aluminium hydroxide is prepared from aluminium sulfate or potassium alum 3 Na2CO3 means sodium carbonate plus potash alum we have to mix potash alum with sodium carbonate then we have to mix some proportions of water then the reactant will be aluminium hydroxide plus sodium sulfate and uh, potassium sulfate now let us know about some of the properties of aluminium hydroxide properties are similar to a uh, previous compound or every compound you can write it as own that is uh, it is a white or colorless viscous suspension colorless viscous suspension with translu translucent nature translucent nature it forms a clear layer when it is kept on standing it is kept on standing let us recall it properties it is a white or colorless viscous suspension with the translucent nature translucent means um, both uh, opaque and uh, transparent it forms a clear layer when it is kept on standing
now let us uh, know about the chemical properties of aluminium hydroxide chemical properties properties let us write the uh, one reaction al oh3 which we all know that is aluminium hydroxide plus three moles of hydrochloric acid that gives rise to alcl3 plus h2o that is three moles of h2o are directed alcl3 means uh, aluminium fluoride uh, which is acidic in nature here aloh3 means aluminium hydroxide is acidic in nature and that produces nausea nausea means you all know that uh, vomit like feeling vomiting it can also cause vomiting and constipation so it is given with magnesium salts so it is given with so it is given with magnesium salts aluminium hydroxide which is acidic in nature produces nausea vomiting and constipation uh, to prevent all of this we have to give we have to give give it with mixing of magnesium salts so these properties can be prevented now let us see the some of the uses of aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxides uses what uh, in which uh, they are used and that's all that all first use is it is mainly used as an slow acting antacid the first and the main property of uh, use of aluminium hydroxide is it is mainly used as a slow acting antacids the and antacids means we all know it reduces the acid production second use is it has advantage that is not absorbing git it has the advantage that it is not absorbing absorbed in git git means gastrointestinal tract that is from mouth to anus so doses not generate CO2, CO2 increase, and metallic carbonates. Let us know what this point means. It has advantage. Means uh, it has an advantage use that it is not observed in GIT. in the git tract in the gi tract it is not easily absorbed get absorbed so doses does not generate co2 which is harmful and metal metallic carbonates uh, are which are harmful to our body this is the main advantage of aluminium hydroxide next use is it is used to absorb gastric toxins and gases 
the next main use is it is used to absorb gastric toxics and gases by the use of aluminum hydroxide the gastric uh, intestinal tract uh, toxic toxical substances are get absorbed and removed the next use is it is used in the treatment of hyperchlor hyperchlor hydria hyperchlor hydria and intestinal toxemia it is used in the treatment of hyperchlor hydria and intestinal toxia we all know that um, hyperchlor hydria means excessive production of acids in the stomach and intestinal to toxemia is similar to uh, production of uh, toxic substances in the gut and next dose how much dose we need to give every person is 7.5 ml to 15 ml should be given next storage it should be stored uh, in blue color ampered color bottle it should be stored in blue ampered colored bottle next storage measurement is temperature not exceeding 30 degrees and do not freeze it that's all uh, aluminum hydroxide topic let us uh, discuss in the next video about magnesium hydroxide mix mixture do not to get the video too long i am dividing the topics in various videos so you can easily catch up the certain topics and uh, recall it thank you